In 2004, artist Martin Kinnear had a devastating stroke at the age of 35. Over a decade later, he felt able to tell his story in paint. So this is the painted garden. This is two years of my life. I asked myself, how do you paint recovering from a stroke? And this is the answer. It's of gardens, but about people. A noted landscape painter and expert in traditional oils. To tell this story, the artist had to invent a new visual language for his painting. A language which spoke of unexpected triumphs, sudden adversity, the transience of success, and his acceptance of imperfection. Starting from iPad and oil sketches, the artist used this visual language to create what he terms his topographical views of the garden, such as lines written in colour. A work which blends how the garden looks with playful brushwork, which present it not in detail, but as an idea. The intricate play of colours and lines creates a sense of mutability, visual ambiguity, and, when allied with colour, beauty. As the project blossomed, so did the artist's awareness of how in its struggles, variety, unexpected triumphs and sudden losses, the garden mirrored his own recovery from illness. And paintings came flooding out. Spring flowers, late blooms, beauty in variety. All of these themes are threaded and woven through the show. A picture of spring, but about possibilities and potential. Everything felt possible is a joyous celebration of renewed optimism. However, with its muted colour and nervous brushstrokes, the artist has been careful to imply that we should accept the possibility of failure. The largest and most ambitious painting in the series, Tell Yourself You Tasted As Many As You Could, was inspired by a huge, incredibly beautiful but transient clematis, shot through with roses, which grows at the far end of Kinnear's garden. The title alludes to the impossibility of fully appreciating and enjoying everything, but learning to be content with what you experienced in the knowledge that it could have been more. Suggested by the incredibly beautiful self-seeded flowers which thrive on the fringes of the garden. And such gardens are not made, is a picture about serendipity, independence and success. The artist sees it as a hard-won acceptance that adversity can create wonderful opportunities. The garden is at its best when it's allowed to become a little wild, is the artist's comment on this picture of late thistles and fennel inspired by an unloved bit of the border, which just became more beautiful by neglect. The painting is about giving yourself permission to change and grow, and as such, it is a visual summary of the artist's attitude to life. As autumn drew in, Kinnear's paintings became more introspective. Here, a bunch of dying flowers suggest fading beauty. There, a seed head, still beautiful, promises regrowth. Kinnear's autumn paintings are about nostalgia, the transience of memory and loss. There will be no one left to remember, was inspired by the beautiful autumn colours of the plants around where it is the artist's habit to sit in the garden. But with his inevitable passing, it will become just another unremarkable part of the garden. This picture is about the impossibility of permanence. Shammer House Garden is full of marvellous oriental poppies which spring up overnight but are incredibly fragile. A picture inspired by how these flowers are cut down by an unexpected summer storm or get busy living is a work about making the most of our time on earth. Like many artists such as Van Gogh and Mondrian, Kinnear finds sunflowers strangely 
even touchingly, anthropomorphic, in the way they follow the sun and seem to bow their heads in their decline. Don't let your fire go out is an encouragement to go on living fiercely and fearlessly in the face of age, illness or disability. With the snows of winter, Kinnear painted the show's darkest work. Gardens fade and die, but return with vigour and life. We should get angry that we can only inexorably pass into memory. So this picture is about that anger, but more than that, about living life to the full and without regret. Artists need a crucible, a crisis through which their art is formed. Mine was a stroke, mine was disability, and this show is the reflection of that.